Hey everyone, it's Caitlin. Welcome back to my corner of the internet. Today we are going to be flipping through my bullet journal for March and this is going to be the second installment in this series where I flip through my journal for the previous month and show you guys all the spreads that I set up so you can get a really realistic view of how I used my journal. And today I thought I would add on top of that a bit of an overview of what journals I'm currently using in addition to this bullet journal since as you'll see in the flip through, not much has changed in the setup. So I feel like the flip through is gonna be pretty quick. So I thought it'd be fun after that to just talk a little bit about the other journals and my overall system that I'm using right now because I have a really good thing going and I really wanted to share it with you guys and give you a bit of an update. So let us get started with March. If you're curious to see the actual plan with me set up, I'll have that linked below as well as the previous month's flip through in case you want to see how it looked last month and compare it to this month for science, <laughs> anything like that. I'll have those linked below, but here is the first page in my journal. This is March. I'm going to throw up on the screen how many pages I use this month, just in case you're curious. I do use a lot of pages in my journal since I like to do one page a day for my daily logs. So, you know, that's already 30 pages complete. And then I add notes and collections on top of that. So it's usually quite a few pages going on during the month. But this is the monthly spread. This is the first month I did this layout and it worked really, really well. I really liked it. On the left, you guys know I have my cover page and on the right, I have my calendar of highlights. Next, I have my focus and projects on the left and then on the right, I have my task list. This month, I actually really, really enjoyed this project section here just filling out projects I'm either working on and I'm still working on during the month or working on and completed. I just find it's a really good way to kind of get that high level overview of what stuff was going on in the month and what I was working on. And sometimes when I'm trying to figure out all the things I'm working on in a day, it's helpful to come back to this page and see kind of what things are on my dashboard at the moment. And that sometimes helps me when I feel a bit overwhelmed. Right after my monthly pages, which are just that task list page and that calendar page, I go directly into my weeklies, which I like to keep right after. It's just easier for me to set them up and then they're ready to go for the entire month. I really liked using these this month and I really liked having my kind of three focuses for the week and filling those out at the beginning of the week and then adding a couple in as the week went by. I just found it really helped me focus on kind of what are the important things that I wanna get done. And I've been really loving having focus sections in my weeklies and monthlies lately. It used to be something I didn't like, but for some reason right now, it's definitely something I've been really loving. Right after my weeklies, I go into my dailies. So they kind of all look like this. So for this flip through, I'm just gonna go through the first week of March and the last week of March, just cause those are the kind of weeks I wanna show you guys, just so it's not just me flipping through 30 pages of kind of the same thing. But these are my daily logs that I like to do in my bullet journal. They're a little different than the daily logs that you see in the original bullet journal method video. I like to keep one day per page just because I like that kind of one page fresh start at the beginning of the day. And also I just like how there's a lot of white space and room for me to really write out all my thoughts. So all my daily logs kind of look the same. I split my weekends on one page because I just don't really need the room. And I just do this for the entire month. So in this last week of March, and I thought I'd show you guys, cause I thought this was kind of a cool way to use my bullet journal. I actually unfortunately got COVID and I was very fortunate and lucky to have very mild symptoms, which was awesome. But I did actually use my bullet journal to record my symptoms every day while I was in isolation. 
and also while I was doing my quarantine. So that was really interesting and I think it would be cool looking back on my journal to just kind of reference this and see what it was like, what the experience was like. So that was something I really focused on using my last week of pages for. And as you can see, because I was sick, I really didn't fill out a lot every day, but I don't mind when I don't fill out a page. I love the white space and every day you do a different amount of things and some days are lighter than others and that is just part of life. So it doesn't really bother me. And you guys know, I live for the white space. <laughs> This month I actually use my notes section a lot as well. So I don't know if I've mentioned it on here, but I do work as a designer. I'm a product designer or a user experience designer if you're in the tech space and you know what that means. And this month I had a freelance project that I was working on. Uh, of course, this is all gonna be blurred, so apologies, but it's just kind of notes on what the client wanted, ideas for me and also will be kind of blurred, but here I also recorded and drew my sketches for the website I was designing. Part of product design is sometimes creating websites and these kind of sketches, which we call wireframes. So these were the kind of initial sketches I created when I was brainstorming. And that's why I really love my notes section in my bullet journal, because I can just kind of turn the page and draw out or write out whatever I need to do and then I can always reference it later so it's all in one place which is awesome. So that was also in my notes section this month. Normally I would put my monthly reflection here. I even started drawing <laughs> the header and then just completely forgot to fill out the spread because I had COVID at the end of March and going into the beginning of April so I was just focused on resting and I just didn't get around to doing this part of my journal but I'll make sure to do it next month and you know sometimes pages don't get filled out but that is all good it's reality it's life <laughs> all right and then this is april so those are all my march pages before i close up this notebook one person asked me in my last video what my tabs are on the right hand side here so every month i have two tab well actually <laughs> i have three tabs i have this one which is my tab to my monthly spread. This is a Midori index clip in copper. I have this tab, which is a book dart in gold that has patina quite a bit. And this is for my daily log. And then I have this one here, which is a memo me page flag or sticky note. I'll link it below, but this guy marks my notes page. So for every month, I have my monthly spread, my daily log, and my notes page marked off so I can easily flip to those guys because I tend to use those the most. So that was my bullet journal for March and that system of the monthlies and the one day per page daily logs has been working out really well. And if you saw February's video, you would probably notice that not much has changed. And that's just because it's been working really well for me. And when my system works well, not as much changes. And that can kind of be a good thing because then I don't have to think about different spreads and layouts. I can just kind of use my journal and focus on putting in stuff and living my life and getting stuff done. <laughs> so that was this bullet journal. Let me now take out the other notebooks that I've been using with this guy and just kind of give you guys an overview of my current journaling system. All right, so bullet journal aside, I am using three other journals right now. And right now I've been really, really happy with how my system has been working for me. So I'll give you a quick overview of what these notebooks are, and you might be familiar with some of them. This one you've probably seen the most. This is my daily journal. I record kind of a short blurb of what happened in the day in here, and I also include photos. It's just kind of my spot where I like to journal about my life, and it's really nice because I have a whole year in this book. This is an A6-tology notebook. So it's very small and compact and I have it in a superior labor cover. And what I really love about this notebook is because I keep my whole year 
of journaling about the year in this one book. I now don't feel the pressure to have one book per year for my bullet journal because I kind of have that for all my memories. It just doesn't really matter to me if my bullet journal is in one book or not because I know that this guy is. So now I can just focus on using this as a tool and not worry about how many notebooks I'm using up for an entire year, which is really, really nice. So that's been kind of a little extra perk about this notebook that I thought I'd share. But besides this journal, which is my daily journal, I have two other notebooks in the system right now. This guy on the left is an A5 dark grade Stalogy. This one's the half year. So it's a little bit skinnier than my bullet journal, which is the full year version of this notebook. So this has half the amount of pages. This is my reading journal. So I include reading notes in here and that's kind of stayed the same. It's been really good because for book notes, I like to kind of have those separate from my journal, but I'm thinking of expanding this to include other hobbies I have like gaming and other kind of notes like that. So that's kind of this journal. I'll probably do an updated setup once I expand it into gaming and show you guys how I've organized this. But besides this one, the final notebook is my traveler's notebook in the standard size. This one has changed the most because it used to be my commonplace book. And now I have converted it into a creative journal or I guess an art journal. So I just have one insert in here. This is the Midori watercolor insert. So it has a really thick paper that's white. And in here, this is just a place where I can have fun and get creative and do collages and use my stationary stash. And I just uh, thought I would create this journal and convert it. I actually made this journal when I was sick because I was isolating in one room and I wanted to kind of rest my eyes from watching TV because it was giving me a headache because my sinuses were going crazy. And I was like, hey, maybe I can start an art journal. That'd be a great way to not watch TV and really get off my screen. So I made this collage while I had COVID and I really love it. I love how it turned out. I love how I was able to use my washi tape and my washi stickers and all that stuff that I wouldn't normally use in a bullet journal. So this has been a great way to use my supplies and also exercise my creativity in a way that is very relaxed. It's really fun. I can just fill out this notebook when I want to and when I want to have a more creative journaling session. And there's no pressure for me now to get creative in other notebooks if I don't want to because this is a place where all of that is kind of designated to happen. So I've been really liking having a separate space to have kind of a creative collage art journal. And I think I'll do some journal with me videos of my process of collaging when I do do more collages. But for now, I just have this one, but I think it's super fun and I've been really enjoying repurposing this journal because I didn't really use it that much recently as a commonplace book, but I really wanted to use my traveler's notebook because I really love this journal. So besides that, that is kind of all the journals I'm using. I have to overview my art journal or creative journal, my reading journal, my daily journal for memory keeping, and then my bullet journal. And this system has been really good for me. It covers all the bases of what I need. And it also, each notebook kind of has its own role and job and there's not very much overlap which is awesome so they really complement each other well as well and besides that that is kind of the video today guys that's an overview of how my bullet journal looked in march as well as the journals and notebooks i'm using right now if you've changed up your system since the beginning of the year because you know i have <laughs> let me know what you're using right now do you keep two journals at the same time? Do you like one journal or maybe are you using 10? Let me know what your system is like. I always love hearing what you guys are up to. And besides that, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.